Hey everyone, Dr. Nussi from EasyDOTPhysicals.com back again with another video. And this one is about testing times on a urine test for super heavy users of marijuana. So I'm doing this as a follow-up to the series of testing time videos that I just completed for light users, moderate users, and heavy users. And I'm making this video the super heavy user video because I got a lot of comments to the effect that using three to seven times per week was not actually a quote unquote heavy user. So I decided to make another video for those that use more than seven times per week. So just to be clear, the science, the data that I used to make my videos on light, moderate, and heavy users of marijuana when urine testing, which is the most common way to detect drugs of any kind, stated that the amount per use was one joint or the equivalent of about 0.4 grams. So since my heavy user video covered anyone that used between three and seven times per week or up to seven joints per week or 2.8 grams, this video is going to cover those who use more than that. And just to make it a nice round number, we're going to say anyone that uses more than three grams per week. So if you use less than three grams per week, please go back and see either my light, moderate, or heavy user videos. And as always, my advice if you are concerned about passing an upcoming drug test is to home drug test. And I will leave a link to my preferred home drug test in the description box below. It's a company I've now been working with for years. They have cutoff levels that are exactly the same as the lab cutoff level. So please home test if you are concerned about passing an upcoming drug test. All right, and before I give my estimations for testing times, let me just briefly address the labels for heavy users and now super heavy users because I got a lot of comments on my heavy user video to the effect of, well, using that amount isn't actually a heavy user. You shouldn't be labeling people a heavy user if they only use this amount. And to be honest, I'm not judging anybody. I'm not calling anyone an addict or saying you should use less or anything. To be honest, I don't care how much people use, but marijuana is tricky because it is fat soluble. As I've stated in other videos, the half-life can change as I've stated in other videos. So I need a way to categorize different individuals because the half-life, the amount of time that it's going to stay in your system does change based on how much you use. So the terms light, moderate, heavy, and now super heavy user, they're not judgments. I could have just as easily said category one, two, three, and four, or category A, B, C, and D. It doesn't really matter, but I do need to categorize uh, different users because the amount of time it stays in your system does depend a lot on how much you actually use. So the issue is going to be that up to the point where we went to the heavy user, we had pretty clear science. Once we get over that amount, the science kind of breaks down a little bit. And that's because marijuana has been listed as a schedule one drug for so long. So there's been very limited research on it. So I'm going to do my absolute best to give you time estimations based on the science that I used in my other videos and my experience doing drug testing and talking to colleagues and talking to labs and even to some extent the feedback, the comments that I've gotten here on my YouTube videos. But the disclaimer is that some of these testing times could vary from individual to individual. And if you have an experience that disagrees with the estimations that I'm going to give, please leave a comment in the comment section below telling me how wrong I am. It really helps the community. We need this information to get out there. So here we go. Here are the estimations for how long marijuana is going to be detectable on a urinalysis. And we've got to break different individuals up into different categories because remember, 
THC marijuana, the amount of time it can be detected on your analysis is dependent on your body fat percentage to a degree your activity level and how much and how frequently you use. And I'm not gonna go over all of the science here because I've done that in other videos. Please check out this video if you wanna know exactly what I'm talking about as far as the science breakdown. I will also leave links to the articles I use in the description box below. So the absolute longest period of time that I can find any research, any data on someone completely abstaining from using marijuana and still testing positive on a urinalysis is about three months. And certainly there could be extreme cases where somebody could test longer for possibly even longer than that. But we are going to, in this video, set an upper limit from the time you stop using, if you don't use at all, if you completely abstain, the longest period of time you can test positive for is four months. And again, if you've got a different experience than that, please leave it in the comments section below. So if you fit into the category of being significantly overweight, and I mean a high body fat percentage, not getting much activity, and using more than seven times per week or more than three grams per week, then this unfortunately might be your category. On a urinalysis, you might test positive for three months or in rare instances up to four months after stopping use. Although realistically, I think that these individuals, if they completely abstain, could test negative in as little as one month. And I really do think the upper end would be somewhere around three months. So it really, it should be about one to three months for this type of individual. So what if you are a normal weight and you do get a little bit of activity. Maybe you're not the fittest person in the world, but maybe you've got an active job or you like to take walks, things like that. So in this case, if you are this super heavy user, meaning you're using three grams or more per week, then I think that you would test negative in about one to two months. And if you look at this chart directly from the federal government, and I've shown this chart on many of my videos, you'll see that they set the upper limit on how long someone should be able to test positive for after stopping use at about two months. But then what if you are very fit, very slim, very low body fat, you get a lot of exercise, you work out, but you still use three grams or more per week, well, I think in these cases, you'll test positive for no longer than about one month, but probably even shorter than that. And in some cases, we're talking about the super fit athletes with very, very little body fat, maybe just days. So the one thing we really can't account for is an individual's metabolism. There's no way to really measure for that or to account for that. So that's where some of these variations can come into play. So please, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, help the YouTube algorithm show it to more people so they become informed as well. Subscribe if you like this content. And until next time, everybody stay safe.